Hello guys and welcome to the Zone of Tech, this is Daniel and today I have the unboxing of the 2011 13-inch MacBook Pro. Okay, so I bought it from eBay for 800 bucks a few days ago and uh, since I've had it for a couple of days I wouldn't consider it an unboxing, it's more of a re-unboxing. This model was released in February of 2011 and uh, it features a 2.3 GHz Intel i5 Sandy Bridge dual core CPU, 4 GB of RAM and a 320 GB hard drive. It doesn't have a dedicated GPU but uh, what it has is the Intel HD 3000 integrated in the CPU. Now this is the world's first modern integrated GPU meaning that it can easily outperform many of the basic dedicated GPUs. So it's the equivalent of the previous NVIDIA 320M found in uh, the uh, 2010 MacBook Pros. Now it has 384 megabytes of shared video memory, which depends on the amount of RAM you have. So uh, if you have 4 gigabytes of RAM, the memory will stay at 384 megabytes. But uh, if you upgrade the RAM to 8 gigabytes, you will have 512 megabytes of shared memory. Now, taking a look at the box, we have the uh, OS X Lion on the front of the box, because beginning from uh, July 2011, all the Mac models come with OS X Lion pre-installed. Now, on the right side of the box, we have an Apple logo. Then, on the left side of the box, we have we have a precision aluminium unibody enclosure. So this is made of a single block of aluminium, so there are no moving parts. And also the uh, dual core Sandy Bridge second generation i5 CPU. And finally the Apple's new Thunderbolt port. And on the back of the box, which uh, is actually the front, we have a uh, picture of the MacBook Pro closed. Now on the top you have a sticker which uh, tells you the specs of your device. You will only get this if you bought it from the store because if you configure it online you won't get this sticker. Now enough with me talking, let's open the box and see what's inside. So uh, we have the uh, flipped version of the 2011 MacBook Pro. On the inside of the box we have this uh, foam padding which uh, protects the MacBook Pro during shipping. Now to lift it, all you have to do is pull this Design by Apple in California tab, and uh, here it is. Well guys, uh, first of all sorry for the uh, messed up foil. As I said, this is my second unboxing. I got this a few days ago and I was too excited, so uh, that's why I've already unboxed it. Inside the box we have this uh, black uh, holder. which holds the uh, manual. Hello. Now, before Lion, all Macs came with two different booklets, one with uh, Everything Mac, that included the uh, manuals, and the other one was Everything Else, which included the installation disks. But now with Lion, Apple has switched to an entirely different method of downloading content, which is the Mac App Store. Apple also tells you how to replace the hard drive and the RAM and uh, by doing this you won't lose your warranty. You also get an Apple branded cleaning cloth, a one year of international warranty and of course some Apple stickers. Also in the box you get this uh, power adapter and uh, what's great about it is that you can put your own wall heads. So for example I have this Europe all had but you can uh, change it to a UK or Japan or even US. The power adapter also comes with uh, these uh, foldable prongs which allow you to wrap up your cable nicely which can be really useful for traveling. And finally the last piece of the puzzle is this uh, extension cord which you can plug in your power adapter like this. So all you have to do is take out the old wall adapter and uh, put in your extension cable. And now you have a longer cable. Now back to the Mac. 
you can see that it's uh, sealed in this plastic foil. Well, not anymore because I broke the seal a few days ago, but uh, you get the idea. So after you break the seal, you will see your new MacBook Pro, which is uh, incredibly light compared to my old Sony Vio. Now to open the lid, all you have to do is put your finger in this uh, finger slot and open it up. Okay, so let's take off the uh, plastic foil that protects the screen. Well guys, all I have to say is that this is the most amazing, good looking and sexiest notebook on the market. I mean, look at it. It's made from a single piece of aluminium with zero moving parts. And the best part is that when you see it with your own eyes, it looks a million times more awesome than it does in the video. As you can see, it's also remarkably thin. It's thinner than my finger. MacBook Pro also has this beautiful edge-to-edge -edge glossy display, which you can switch to a matte display if you custom build a 15-inch MacBook Pro. Now taking a look at the ports, we have the MagSafe power port, then uh, the Gigabit Ethernet port, the uh, Firewire 800, which can go to speeds up to 800 megabytes per second, then we have the Thunderbolt port, the new Apple port with speeds of up to 20 gigabytes per second. Uh, then we have two USB 2.0 ports, an uh, SD card slot, and finally a audio in and out jack. Also you have this uh, battery indicator light which uh, tells you how much juice you have left. So luckily Apple has sent this to me with a full charge. And finally on the right side of your device you have the Kensington lock and the super drive. Now to upgrade your MacBook Pro you will need a Philips 00 screwdriver. What's cool about the MacBook Pro is that it breathes through its keyboard and the hinge. So I don't know if you can see in the video but uh, there's always a space beneath the uh, hinge so no matter in what position your lid is there will always be a space for your MacBook Pro to breathe here you go so uh, that's the space that's how your MacBook Pro breathes now back to the MagSafe power adapter it's uh, called the MagSafe because uh, it magnetically attaches to the MagSafe port and if you accidentally trip over the cable it will automatically detach to prevent your MacBook from kissing the floor. The MagSafe will show an orange LED if it needs a charge. The MacBook Pro features a full-sized keyboard. This is a chiclet keyboard and uh, Apple was the first company to introduce such a keyboard. Now this keyboard is actually the best keyboard I have ever used and believe me I have used a lot of keyboards. Now the MacBook Pro features an ambilight sensor like the iPhone that dims the display and brightens the keys when your MacBook Pro is in a poor light condition. You can also manually change the brightness by pressing the F1 and F2 keys. You can toggle mission control by pressing the F3 button. Now you can also do this with your trackpad as a gesture. Pressing the F4 button will uh, bring up the launchpad with all of your apps. You can scroll through your launchpad by using two fingers. Then you have the uh, brightness up and down keys, the uh, music keys, fast forward and pause, mute, volume down and volume up, and of course the eject button. Now the MacBook Pro features a large glass trackpad that uh, doesn't wear out as the plastic ones do. It's also a multi-touch trackpad meaning that you can do gestures like pinch to zoom, rotate with two fingers and scroll with two fingers naturally. Worth mentioning is the battery which Apple claims to last up to seven hours of wireless web browsing but in fact it lasted me 10 hours on my stock hard drive and uh, 12 hours on the SSD that I've just installed. 
So finally, after using this device for a couple of days, knowing the OS for a couple of years, because I've had a uh, hacking touch for the past two years, uh, all I have to say is that the uh, MacBook Pro is the best looking, the most amazing and futuristic computer on the market. So no matter if you're just a, a uh, casual user or a hardcore video editor, because that's what this uh, laptop is made for, uh, this laptop is the best solution for you. And no, Apple did not pay me to say this. So if you want a computer with zero flaws, an amazing design and a lifetime lasting battery, the MacBook Pro is the way to go. So thank you guys for watching. Please give me a like, a uh, favorite, and uh, don't forget to subscribe because this helps me more than you think. Thank you and uh, stay tuned for more videos.